Right, we are heading out to Camp Razor. We're getting there a little bit late, huh, Chad? But it is going to be awesome because we talked to a couple guys and things have gotten out of hand out there. I mean, just people, craziness. Just wild. Like people flipping their cars into the newfound lake at Calamus. People just running into each other. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's going to happen when you got, uh, you know, 100,000 cars in one spot uh, I think for the most part people are saying they're surprised that there wasn't more carnage yeah but and looks then, like Polaris like really brought it can I don't know I'm like I don't know how I feel about you know the other brand like coming in on <laughs> Polaris's event I mean I love <laughs> can -Am and I love Polaris but like that's kind of weird yeah. but they 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 got a ton of Maverick cars there. They're letting everybody uh, test ride them. They're all on trail tires, which is crazy. But yeah, no, it's it's big event, man. Well, and Polaris is just going all out. I mean, all out. If you want, like, they're just driving around handing out belts. They're driving around giving away stuff. There's poker runs where you can win like legit prizes, yeah. not just like yeah. a hat and a koozie. It's like legit prizes that are worth like thousands of dollars yeah the customer support is just incredible people are literally like bringing belts and they're handing them new ones you know yeah they are players is like out they had an outreach program and they're driving around finding people broken down and giving them parts knocked out of the park again this year but went on another level giving away a pro r i think a turbo r and a couple little cars and they haven't so, announced the winner of the pro r it's so, it's going to be announced soon so it's freaking awesome so mad props to players mad for this props. whole event yeah i'm bummed that we weren't going to be able to be there for this whole thing good these are metal effects 15 inch wheels We've got the Packard performance wheels on the back sand lights comp cut We've got them all shaved out super light and then the system threes on the front so a little bit more of aggressive then system three is all around, which a lot of people are running. So let's see how that behind looks. Oh my goodness. Baby's got back.
we're competing against. What is it? It's uh, it's just the Evo 2 State Street anyway. State Street. <laughs>
Chad. So we made it out to Glamis for the very ending of the chaos of Camp Razor. What was your thoughts of Glamis and the Maverick car? I don't know. I felt like I went snowboarding in like gale force winds. I mean, my lips are all chapped. My eyes, I'm just like, oh my gosh. We, and we're, we're riding out there today. There's like, all the tracks are gone. There, yeah. It's it's gonna be like a blank. If you go out there next weekend, oh, it's uh, gonna be amazing. Next it's weekend. gonna be all smooth. The only thing is, is uh, it brought a lot of trash. There was a lot of people. I'm really disappointed in the behavior of people just leaving their wood, leaving their garbage, leaving beer cans and soda pop cans all over the place. Some pizza company left their canopy and their wood fire pizza so I don't know it was kind of, that was kind of disappointing it got yeah. really trashed at Oldsmobile but you know yeah. hopefully when people go out there you know if you could bring a couple trash bags and just fill them up and bring them back into Vendor Village you know and when you go out I'm, I'm definitely gonna do that next time we go to Glamis I yeah. hope everyone else can too when it's gonna make it a clean slate. Last year, Camp Razor happened. The wind never really got heavy enough to really clean slate it and get rid of all the whoops. I think after this, the whoops are gonna be like practically gone. So, clean slate at Glamis. I'm stoked to go back again with just smooth sand. And that Maverick R, it performed. It's a great car. It was so awesome to not have to worry about smoking a belt i turned around in the middle of oldsmobile um and it just took off like no issues whatsoever the car ran like a champ it handles everything really well i do want to like perfect that suspension i think we could perfect the suspension a little bit but man it does really well but i do think you need a front tire that's gonna have some front end traction because that cr that front end just kind of wants to push in the sand quite a bit so I put the System 3s on it with some Packard 33s and we took it out there, competed against some X3s and shockingly, the X3 with like a stage three is probably a skosh faster. Yeah, but, you're, you're but right. Barely. You're, you're right in there between like a stage two and a stage three. It's kind you, of where it sits in a power. If level. you throw on a Evo stage three, you're, you're probably gonna pass up a, a Maverick R if you've got decent suspension. Yeah. But yeah, it was a great time. It handles the whoops really, really well. I was pretty impressed on that, the pace we were able to go and just blitz through the whoops. So, cars, cars pretty awesome. Um, that and the Pro R is a tough, it's a tough deal. Yeah. Like, what car should you buy? A lot of people are asking me, it's like, dude, I, I can't tell you. Both of them have some really sweet perks about them. I kind of feel like if you have a Pro R, it's just not, it's not that that much better to where you would need to switch cars. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. The only reason I would switch cars to a Maverick R from a Pro R, if you're a Pro R kind of guy, if you're a Polaris fan as far as like the way you like it handles, um, would just be to get rid of the belt. Because having that transmission and not having to worry about smoking a belt. Um, That's a big awesome. deal. Yeah. I like that part a lot. But the rest, it's like, okay, it's a hair faster, a little less body roll. So, you know, and then there's some things with the Can-Am where it's like, eh, it seems a little weaker in the Pro-R in a couple spots. So I really wouldn't change if you love your Pro-R. I think out in Glamis, um, you could really have some stiffer springs in the rear. Yeah. And, or, or some, some different, you know, valving. I think some revalving would really yeah. make that thing just skate across those whoops, but I mean, it handles them really well. Yeah, it does. Let's make Let's some, make some noise. noise! Cap Razor! Like and subscribe.